continues contract negotiations for a new deal. In the meantime, a bold, courageous, and very anonymous defensive coordinator had this to say about the MVP quarterback. Well, part of what he said, anyway. If he has to pass to win the game, they ain't winning the game. He's so unique as an athlete. He's a really good football player, but I don't care if he wins the league MVP 12 times. I don't think he'll ever be a one as in tier one as a quarterback. He'll be a one as a football player, but not as a quarterback. So many games come down to two minute, and that's why they have a hard time advancing even when they are good on defense. Scott Lewis Riddick and Mike T and Dan Graziano with me still. Lewis, your reaction to that very courageous statement by the anonymous defensive coordinator. Yeah, Max, I'm going to assume you're saying courageous tongue-in-cheek there because, quite honestly, it's, <laughs> it's kind of cowardly. And, and honestly, it's well, yes, that's it's a little idea. asinine. And, and, I'll say, and, I, and, I'll, and I'll tell you why. Look, I remember we did a Monday night game, uh, Baltimore versus <clears throat> Indianapolis last year down in Baltimore where Lamar threw the football as well as I've ever seen him throw it in his NFL career. Okay, He was throwing the ball all over the yard, making plays all over the yard. And it wasn't just off-schedule scramble-type plays. It was the kind of plays that you thought, man, this guy is starting to take off. He's, everything is starting to come together for him. And, just, and remember this, too. He's still in the growth phase of his career. I don't know if you ever get out of the growth phase of your career when you're a quarterback anyway because it's, it's a continual learning process. So for someone to now say, I don't care – you know, what he does, I don't care if he wins 12 MVPs. I never think he'll, he's a tier one quarterback. I never think he'll really be able to beat you from the pocket as a pure pocket type of passer. I think it's short-sighted. It's ignorant. It uh, reeks with bias. And it's just really one of those where, like, I wish that this comment was never even included in this article because it's one that now has really gotten a lot of attention that maybe it shouldn't have gotten it. And, and this person, we'll, we'll never know who it was who actually made this comment, this anonymous defensive coordinator. But it's just one that really serves no purpose because it just sounds so personal and so disrespectful. And um, I just don't really find a whole lot of use for it <laughs> other than for us to sit here and talk about it on TV. In the same article, Patrick Mahomes was also quest said he's not a tier one. Patrick Mahomes has hosted four consecutive AFC championship games, has won the MVP, yeah. has won the Super Bowl, has won the Super Bowl MVP, has thrown 50 touchdowns. <laughs> like, what? Mike T, I thought what Lewis said is right. I thought there were three separate weeks this past season where Lamar Jackson was the best football player on earth. And he's been remarkably durable till this point in his career. But he, like Tom Brady before him and Aaron Rodgers and every great quarterback, had an injury and his team was already destroyed by injury. And so finally when he was like in full bloom after he'd won a playoff game the year before, he beat Mahomes in the regular season, he checked all those boxes, we didn't get to see the real Lamar this year. Is it, are those fair comments? No, those comments are totally BS and they're way off on a number of levels. Let's just stick with the facts. He is an MVP player who was traded for in the first round. He's been extremely productive. He's been beyond reproach off the field. Is he a young player that can get better at certain aspects of his game? Absolutely, they all can. Justin Herbert, Joe Burrow, Patrick Mahomes, they've all had growing pains in their ascendancy, but he is a great player. He's a difference maker. You have to account for him on every single play if you're the opposing defense, both with his arm and his legs, and a lot of teams would be really lucky to have him. If that's not the definition of a franchise quarterback, I don't know what is. Yeah, if you are so dogmatic in your views that new evidence cannot convince you otherwise, and you're even on record, I don't care what he does, I'll never say, even if he's the yeah. greatest quarterback ever, then what can you really say about that? What, what's the latest in the contract negotiations, Gross? Yeah, they've been talking. I mean, look, th this time last year they were talking, Max, and there was some optimism then that it would get done. Obviously, it didn't. There's some optimism now that it would get done. Obviously, uh, it, it could. I mean, it doesn't have to be this week, right? I mean, it was, it was a week or two into training camp last year when Josh Allen signed his extension with the Buffalo Bills. So these things can happen at some point during training camp, maybe closer to the start of the season. The sense I get, though, is that, you know, Lamar Jackson has an idea what he wants. And if the Ravens, you know, aren't willing to give it to him in terms of, I don't know, what it, whether it's money, structure, guarantees, some combination of all of that, um, that, then he's willing to take it year to year and, and play the franchise game and maybe threaten them with free agency down the road. So, yeah, they've been talking, but that's no guarantee that, that, that it ends up with a deal before camp starts.
You know, Mike T has said it's very simple. I'm not taking a, I don't need a penny more, but I don't need a penny less than Deshaun Watson. Actually, the more I think about it, he needs more than Deshaun Watson. He has an MVP. Yeah. Deshaun doesn't. Kyler doesn't. He has no off-field issues. Deshaun can't say that. Nope. He has no leadership issues. They don't have to put in his contract. He has nope. to study film. Kyler can't say that. Mm -hmm. If Watson's getting 230, actually, if I'm Lamar, I think I need 250. And I think I need the whole thing guaranteed. Yeah. Time now for Mike Drop.